Hare Krishna. Just a couple of minutes, we'll complete with this uh, with this uh, verse for today's class. We'll continue tomorrow for the next verse onwards. So here, Lord Krishna indicates that so the though the devatas are my bodily limbs, the ignas are me in my different manifestation, but the devata worshippers do not know this. Thus, their Ignya performance is actually Avidhi Purvakam. So Lord Krishna says, I am the enjoyer of all sacrifices. I am the master of all sacrifices. I am the protector and the giver of results of the performance of all the variety of sacrifices. But they do not know me as such. They do not know me in Tattva. Therefore, they continue to take birth in this world. Chavanti means they fall down and continue to take birth in this world. Because they are just worshipping the particular Devata according to the rules established in the books. Okay, sorry, that is for the next verse. So, so because they don't understand the real truth that it is I who expand the Devatas, it is I who expand the Ignas, it is I who is the enjoyer of all the sacrifices. I am the master and the protector. It is I who give the results that which Lord Krishna mentioned in the seventh chapter about Devata worshippers. One who does not know all these things, their performance of Ajna is actually Avidhi Purvakam. As a result, they fall down from Sarga instead of ascending to Vaikuntha. So when one worships the Supreme Lord in any of the process, one should be in proper knowledge. Then only one's worship considered to be a bona fide means to walk back home back to Godhead. That's why Lord Prabhupada, Prabhupada quotes the verse uh, from third can third chapter of Bhagavad Gita. Egnartat karmano annetra lokoyam karma bandana. Any activity that we may perform in this material world should be performed as an offering to Supreme Lord. Understanding who the Supreme Lord is. That kind of activity will bring will bring liberation to that person. Otherwise, all the activities one may perform very expertly, but they put one in this material world only. All the other activities, though they may give us heavenly opulence, but they will never give us liberation because of our improper understanding. Though the activity may be perfect, but understanding is imperfect. Thus, we will never attain the bona fide results of going back home back to Godhead. So, we'll stop here and we'll continue from verse number 25 onwards tomorrow and we'll see the remaining verse. Uh, anyone has any query based on what we discussed till now? Hare Krishna Prabhu. Yes, Prabhu. 22nd verse Krishna says that uh, those who have ex exclusive devotion meditating on my transcendental form mm. for them he, he carry what they lack and preserve what they have mm. but uh, what about the devotees who are in meets and uh, who are don't do not have developed right now an exclusive devotion mm. so how does this verse apply to them no, they have to work for their maintenance. See, I will give you one understanding. Uh, the What Lord Krishna is indicating here is that those devotees, they dedicate the 24 hours only for my worship, even without thinking for their bodily maintenance. For such people, I personally take care of their bodily maintenance, etc. etc. So like Goswamis, Rupa Goswami, Sadhana Goswami, they would never think about their bodily maintenance. They would always engage in doing their activities. Even Narada Stagur, as he was there in Jagannath Puri, he was always continuously chanting. It is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu who would bring everyday Upalbog Mahaprasad to Harada Stagur. Otherwise, Harada Stagur would never went and uh, stood in front of Simadwar and begged for his meals. If Chaitanya Mahaprabhu would bring, he would eat. Otherwise, he would not eat. He would only consider about chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra 24 hours. 
similarly the gosamis are also considered about doing their service to supreme lord writing or chanting or singing etc sometimes radharani would personally come and give them some sweet rice krishna would personally come and give them something even madhavendra puri we hear he would follow ajagara vritti he would never beg when he came to rundavan sitting there for a couple of days lord krishna personally came as a gopal and gave him milk in a matka so these are the examples you can see how lord krishna personally maintains his devotees but for all of us we need to work because we are not in that consciousness ananya consciousness we cannot do bhakti 24 hours so we need to work for our livelihood and maintenance so this word does not apply to uh, us at all no that word since itself has that ananya are we ananya no hmm we are still in the category of artho artarthi jignasu and gnani our at least my understanding is our current position is at that level we are still performing karma mishra bhakti or gnana mishra bhakti or yoga mishra bhakti for some we are not at come to ananya bhakti platform ananya bhakti platform is very high But Prabhuji, then we we can never reach to to that goal. No, no, we can reach. So that we will discuss tomorrow, because especially this understanding what is ananya bhakti, what is not ananya bhakti, it is discussed in the verse number twenty six and twenty seven. Those two verses will describe about it. Tomorrow we will spend good amount of time to understand what exactly we are doing, what we are supposed to do. So this yeah, question. Yeah, because hmm. yeah, yeah. Okay, Prabhuji, because uh, from my understanding. If we will do this whole life then how will improve like we can, there is no hope i think we we can also perform anna bhakti by becoming like gosamis can we become like gosamis today no no prabhu ji but there is a possibility that one can become like gosamis maybe after 10 years or 15 years that is a, there is a possibility okay. so we cannot we'll say that we discuss tomorrow ha uh, mm. we'll discuss tomorrow okay prabhu ji thank you hari krishna so anyone else has any query so if no one has any query we'll stop for today and we'll continue tomorrow thank you prabhu ji hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna hari krishna thank you prabhu ji thank you prabhu ji hari krishna thank you prabhu ji